Some hostile sources make him the son of a Jewish convert and an unknown Tunisian man, with his mother remarrying to a Muslim and settling in Tunis. Subsequently he is meant to have begged on the streets of the capital, worked in a Maltese tavern and then for a barber, before being hired by an offer of the guard of the Bay of Tunis, who brought him into the palace. There he is said to have been noticed by Muhammad III as Siddiq at the beginning of his reign. The Bey appointed him intendant of his civil list, a general of his guard, and Kaid of Kapban. After he contributed to the fall of Mustafa Haznadar, he became minister of the navy in October 1873, in the government of Hayreddin Pasha, then minister of the interior and member of the International Financial Commission in July 1877, and finally Grand Vizier on August 24, 1878, a post which he held until September 12, 1881. The establishment of the French Protectorate of Tunisia and the death of Sadok Bey in 1882 ruined his career, but he managed to retain a small part of his fortune and fled to Istanbul, where he became obscure. He died almost completely destitute according to the French historian Jean Ganiage. However, he appears to have financially supported the first Tunisian nationalist exiles after the establishment of the protectorate, with whom he retained some contacts, which argues against the idea that he was in financial difficulty, as do his favorable connections with the Ottoman state.